Fragile. Shy. Intricate. Enigmatic. Soulful. Posh. Unique. Observational. Amazing. Private. Beautiful. A musical genius. Thinking about my first uh, meeting with Nick, I can see him sitting there at the guitar and just thinking, nice bloke. How would I describe Nick Drake? Jeez. A man with a singularly superior lexicon of the melancholic. I think Nick Drake himself is an well, I think I would find him extremely sexy if I met him on the street. Kind of singular British, very English singers. I would describe him only through my memory of him as this tall, rather dusty, shadowy sort of figure away in the corner of a room. He was just so much better educated than most singer-songwriters. You know, he had a real grounding in the romantic poets. He uh, knew English literature, you know, he'd read so much, he'd been to Marlborough, he was going to Cambridge. He was a very bright, well-educated guy. Joe has uh, sort of nurtured this talent, if you like, and brought him on and gave him confidence to record. His music, I think, immediately you're struck by, by the beautiful guitar. I mean, what an amazing guitarist um, he was. I love how vulnerable he was in his lyrics and how observational. He always seemed to be on the outside looking in. That sense of um, melancholy that I think you experience first between adolescence and adulthood, I think he was particularly eloquent about. The bar is set extremely high in a Nick Drake record or a Nick Drake song. When they asked me to do this job, I thought, oh yeah, Nick Drake, I love Nick Drake. I've always loved the records, I could do that. And then you sit down and listen to them and you go, oh my God, how did he play that? Well, I never did get into the bothering to learn the intricacies of his guitar playing, which is fiendishly difficult and really sophisticated. To hear it now, it's really like being there. And Neil McColl has really got the guitar past. How did he play it and sing it at the same time? I really don't know how he did some of that. It's a bit like kind of going like, like this. I can't even do that. Yes, how very complex his words are. They're really difficult. Learn. <laughs> it was just sort of a very straightforward, sort of um, simple, undecorated, to the point singer. So when you sing his songs, it's like there's all this room to mess them up. Now they're sort of folk jazz classics, but still very difficult to define, except by saying they're Nick Drake songs. I don't think people were ready for him, and they didn't realise the depth of his music. And the real proof is that it's timeless. He was very underappreciated in his lifetime. A beautiful soul uh, who was way beyond this world and could only, I think our world could only handle him for a little while. I wonder what he makes of it all now, kind of watching this whole thing, if everyone's playing all his music, you know. So, um, yeah, it's an interesting thought. If uh, Nick could hear what's happened now, he'd be, he'd be really proud. And uh, yeah, I think he would be proud, actually. People would think, no, that it may be, he'd be embarrassing. He wouldn't, he'd be absolutely chuffed. <laughs>